Hello and welcome back to Allure Gaming. I am your humble host, Alu, and this is Dead by Daily, the series where I play Dead by Daylight Daily. A little bit different format I'm going to go with for this one. I'm actually going to pick my killer on recording and kind of go through the perks as I'm picking them to sort of decide what I want to do, where I'm going to go with it. Uh, so you guys can sort of see my thought process on it. So we're going to start off with picking the killer. Just kind of who I'm in the mood for. I haven't played Plague in a while, so I think I'm going to go Plague for this one. Because uh, I do enjoy me some Plague gameplay. Uh, let's see here. So first on my mind is going to be uh, Gen Disruption. How am I going to stop the gems? Where is it coming from? How am I doing it? What am I going to do for it? So looking through the perks that I do currently have, we're looking... Uh, I do have Dying Light, but it is rank 1, so I'm not too interested in that. Uh, I do have Corrupted. That's rank 1. That's not too big. So I think I'm going to go Corrupted Pop because yeah, I have rank 1 of each, here. and it kind of makes one. one full perk in a way. So we're going to go with both of those. And then for my next two, I'm just sort of thinking, what do I need to you to down them, to catch them, to trip them up, throw them off guard? So let's see here. I'm thinking... I don't really want to use Infectious. Infectious is very straightforward to use on her. I'm not in the mood for it, though. I'm thinking... Let's go Sloppy? No. Because people don't really heal against her. Can't do Sloppy. Let's do Unnerving, and I'm going to pick up Distressing. So we're going to go with sort of like a skill check build, and we'll see what we can get from there. All right, so what are we thinking for the add-ons today? Uh, I don't really like Plague's add-ons, if I'm being 100% honest. Let's go movement speed, uh, not really. Charge speed, I like charge speed. Duration, infection time on objects. I'm really looking for effectiveness. All right, so we're gonna go effectiveness, charge rate, and as per usual, we're gonna go ahead and pick out a offering for some blood points because I am getting pretty close to my Demogorgon being level 50 with all the perks and then I can start the Demogorgon thing that I have planned out. So I'm gonna hit ready up, I'm gonna wait for this match and we'll see you all in game. All right, so this queue time is taking forever, man. It is insane. So I just wanted to run through the perks one more time with you. For those of you that didn't know, I didn't realize, I didn't explain them. So Corrupted is going to block the three farthest generators from me for 80 seconds at the start of the trial. That's going to be bringing survivors in closer towards me is what we're hoping for. Pop is going to be when I hook someone, the next generator that I kick, regression is going to be, it's going to regress for 25% of its total progress. So if it's at 90%, it's going to regress 25%. If it's at 10%, it's going to regress 25% of that 10%. Um, we are looking at unnerving next. Unnerving, so if they're working on generators, healing, doing something that is gonna bring up a skill check and they're within my terror radius, it's gonna reduce the zone by 50% and increase the amount of skill checks that they get. And then distressing is just going to make my terror radius basically huge, it's gonna be a ginormous terror radius and also give me blood points. So the sort of premise is just basically stopping gens uh, while hopefully f spreading this plague around, getting them injured the slower the gens, the more the plague spreads, the better it gets, right? So that's sort of the premise of the build. That's why I'm going with effectiveness. If I catch someone out of position, just vomit a stream on them and boom, they're broken. I can down them, I can move on, I can keep going and hopefully just elongate the game to the point where it's just basically impossible for them to do anything. Uh, we're hoping for something less than a 20 minute queue time, but unfortunately it's probably going to be around a 20 minute queue time, so we'll see you all in game from here. Alright, here we are, Rancid Abattoir, Coldwood Farm. Not an ideal map. Definitely not an ideal map for us. We wanted something in close, something close quarters, um, but that is okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head over, if I can not run into the say, I'm going to head over to that far generator there. We'll try and see if we can catch someone out. We got scratch marks like they were coming from this direction. I may have missed them in the corn because it's just so hard to see. 
want to keep moving. We don't want to spend too much time in one area. Let's see, we'll see if they're over here. Maybe not. Hope you've done this. So no one will touch that for a little bit, and if they do, they'll get infected. Head over to this area. Someone's working on this. All right, we got someone. I know there were two people here for sure. Is she gonna go through that? on this. That way if she touches it, she's going to get infected. We'll pick her up. We'll put her on a hook. I don't want to pick this one. I want to go pick this one over here as it is much closer to be done. There we go. That's huge for us. She's going to get off. We're going to try and puke all over this man here. Just grab all of that puke. Come here. So they did finish that gen, unfortunately. I'm going to come back over to this as they are on it again. This man is living up the dangerous life right now. Do you have dead heart? Yes, Get the hell down. I need to push her off of this gen right now. I need to force this drop. She'll get that. that gem? They did. I need to go pick him up. I did not think that they'd be that efficient when it came to the gems. They got him up. That's unfortunate. He's out of position though, so we're going to go for him here. There's the dead hard. Doesn't matter. Get down. Alright. Let's get him on a hook. I was really hoping that there was another person that was going to rush that gem. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Someone did cleanse, that's not a good idea. So we're gonna head over there, pick that up, and then start the devastation, hopefully. Let's see here, nom 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 nom. All right, let's move on. We're gonna move to this gen as this is naturally the next gen that that person would have gone on. Unfortunately, no one is here, that's a bad call. Keep hitting that thing, thinking that it's a, uh, thinking that it's a person crouching, but it is not. Unfortunately, we are not going to take advantage of our pop here. Just go down. They're going to real fast on these gems. I'm gonna need a second helping of my blood. I can't pick him back up as he could have decisive strike. If he has decisive strike, I lose this game. She ran over here. Someone has to be coming to get him right about now. Doesn't seem like it. I'm gonna pick him up and risk it. Alright, we'll put him on a hook. He did not have decisive. That's not good for him. At any rate, this is not shaping up to be a good match for us. They're just sitting there on that gem. We're going to pop it. And then we will continue our chase. Oh, they, they did this gem. Perfect timing for us. We're gonna pick her up. They are really, really efficient on these gems right now. It's not good for us. This person's sitting on a gem while I'm walking towards her. We're gonna look for her. She's right there. 
gonna put her up here. We're gonna kiss this. She's still there. We got her. She's down. We pick her up. We get her on a hook immediately. Hello. Pick her up. Get her on a hook. Very strong position for us. They're done with the gents. Just like that. It's that easy. It's that easy, boys. Done. Not even close. Come around here. Putting her back down. We got one over here. We need to go for her. Make sure that she's not being rescued right now. She doubled back. Uh, she is playing around this area. This is the strongest point right now. I need to stay around this area. She decided to cleanse in this area. I'll just hit it regularly. Someone got her off the hook, so they're gonna go both pick the other one up. There it is. Put her down. Get her on a hook so that they wanna rescue her. She's that's decisive. Guys. Why? I didn't even hook her. Well, that's gonna lose me the game right there. That's GG, boys. It's over. Yes, 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 yes. I have no idea how she still had decisive strike. Honestly, I she wasn't infected. I don't remember hooking her within the past minute. I went on two different chases. I mean, I haven't gotten any hits, but I said what it really is what it is. Yeah, you don't want to play this game. Unfortunate, but it... That's how it goes sometimes. That's how it goes sometimes. I wasn't keeping proper track of who I was hooking, who I wasn't hooking. It's unfortunate. Uh, went down twice there. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Survivor side will be up in just a bit. Additionally, if you'd like to leave in the comments down below a survivor or a killer build, I do check them. I will check it. I might do it if I have the killer with that specific set of perks, if I have the survivor with that specific set of perks. Whatever you're feeling, and we'll catch you in the next one.